As the weather warms up, people typically start to spend more money on everything from landscaping to renovations to travel. But given the higher cost of living, we're all looking for ways to stretch our budget this season. So here to help us find the best deals in spring is our resident money expert, Melissa Leong. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hello. Okay, so we're here. We're into the second half now of spring, if you can believe it. Tell us what we should be spending our money on. So if you're looking for choice and inventory, mm -hmm. the thing right now is anything outdoors. The weather is warm, mm -hmm. we're all very excited. And so if you go to any big box stores, mm -hmm. the aisles are filled with picnic stuff, you know, insect repellent, sunscreen, your patio furniture, your um, sporting goods. So I walked in to get eggs at one store and I came out with lawn chairs, <laughs> uh, swimming vests, Been there, done and that. baseball oh. items. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh man. But to be fair, I did have a list uh, from these things from last fall that I wanted to get them. So okay. So. But if you want rock bottom prices on these items, you're going to have to wait till about July for these things to start oh. going on sale. Yeah. But I have to warn you, if you wait, the pickings will be so slim, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of things are already mm -hmm. really Picked sold over. out. Mm -hmm. But June, the, the uh, great thing to look out for in June is your semi-annual sales. So retailers like selling anything from underwear to bath, work, uh, bath and body products. Mm -hmm. That's when their semi-annual sales are, and so you can great, get great discounts. All right, so that's a good tip. All right, so this might surprise a lot of people, but you say now is the right time to buy a mattress. Yes. Why is that? And how often should we be buying, buying a new mattress? Okay. So <laughs> the reason why it's a great time right now to buy a mattress because mm -hmm. it's moving season, right? It's renovation season. So all mm -hmm. the retailers know, okay, we're going to have spring sales. We're going to have a month-long Mother's Day sale. We're going to have moving day sales. And so to uh, answer your question, typically they say that you need a new mattress every seven to ten years because okay. Sleep Country shared this little tidbit mm -hmm. that after ten years, there is ten pounds of dead skin oh. in your mattress. That, so glad I asked. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. That being said, that's probably, I'm probably due for a new mattress. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Mattress shopping is really fun. You know, you go, you get asked for a pillow, you roll around, you know, say, you know, jump on it to make sure that I can still stay asleep when my kids jump on it in the morning, whatever. But a big box store will have, um, sometimes they have price guarantees. Yeah. Oh. So they'll say, you know what? If you find a cheaper mattress that's similar at another place, they'll beat it by 5%. And here's an insider's tip. Mm, cool. If you have a good relationship with the manager, if you've been nice, you're friendly. You My ex-boyfriend works at a mattress store. So he, does, he does. If you still speak to your ex-boyfriend, I'm like, you guys break up on good terms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. And it's then good. we'll all call him okay. and ask him to check with the warehouse manager. Oh, okay. To see if there's been any returns. Any hot. So tips? if you're okay with the return mattress, mm -hmm. not like it's been on for ten years, but it went to somebody's house and they know. didn't like it and it came right you back. They clean it. Mattresses, guys. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know, but that's right? different. This is. They you spray it, they clean it. Okay. All right. And you spray can get it with it. the right stuff? Because yeah. that's, you know? Discounts. If okay. You're looking for that. Okay. Well, okay. That's All right. An All right. All right. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. So you mentioned moving season, <laughs> um, and this we are in that time zone. Yeah. So are there any other things we should be looking out for? Absolutely. Furniture, appliances. Okay. So retailers will have something like um, Boxing Day in the summer or, mm. you know, Black Friday is back because they are looking to take advantage of the individuals who are looking to move, who are renovating their home and or just looking to spruce up the house in general. They'll also have, you know, it's, the weather is nice now, so they'll have parking lot sales. They'll have some sort of items that are out that are last year's models or floor models. You can get deals that, on that. But the most important thing that I really want to mention that I've got burned by mm. is to pay attention to the uh, return policy. Okay. I once bought a oh. couch, and when it arrived to my front door, it didn't fit. <laughs> so oh. we couldn't get it through the front door, so we had to send it back with the movers, and the restocking fee was 500 bucks. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh I, I, I straight up You fried. could have bought another yeah. sofa with that money. <laughs> yeah. Wow. yeah. So wow. measure first, and then check the return yeah. policy. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We, we don't have too many holidays in spring, but um, how can we capitalize on holidays? So you've got your Father's Day. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in June, so the, you'll see flash sales, you'll see sales on, uh, you know, just brief sales on so-called dad items, you know, shaving kits or lawn uh, trimmers, power washers. Mm -hmm. Also, at the end of the month is Memorial Day. 
Okay. So our American neighbors will be celebrating and global retailers will have sales that they can also include Canadians if you want to check that out. Mm -hmm. And then finally, this is a random but fun thing to do is to look at what national days are being celebrated in any given month. And why is so, that? For example, today mm -hmm. is Strawberries and Cream Day. Um, <laughs> it's not it like that. sexy. And the weekend on Saturday is Wine Day. And so there's Hamburger Day coming up. There's all these things. And retailers will often have some sort of offering to celebrate that day or a restaurant. So, for example, on June 21st, it's the it's International Day of Yoga. And a lot, the United Nations rec recognizes this day. Oh. So a lot of um, organizations, stores, they will celebrate that day with some sort of event or offering. Okay. All right, so what if your birthday is in the next few months, November 12th, if you're wondering? <laughs> <laughs> can we milk some of uh, those nice perks? What can we get out of that? Yes. So on the week of November yes. 12th, you mm -hmm. are going to go run around and get a whole bunch of free stuff. Because Say that less. is what I did last month on my birthday. I just ran around getting a whole bunch of stuff. How do you get the free stuff? <laughs> Retailers oh, yeah. will treat you on your on the day of your birthday, the week of your birthday. So I got uh, I got free bubble tea, free latte, free makeup There's a place sets. that makeup. I know there's uh -huh. a place that does mm -hmm. makeup. Yeah. And a free, this is the weirdest one, the free ginger scallion and lobster dish what? at a local restaurant. Yes. And so my local mall prints an entire list of birthday freebies that you can get. Okay, but wait, I have a question. So do, day, do I walk into this restaurant and go, it's my birthday? Yes. What can I get for free? Yeah, How you, you wave find around it? your your ID and say I got proof. It's my birthday. Where's my free stuff? Okay. Just Google it. Just Google okay. it first. It's like when you go on vacation, you always say it's my anniversary, even if it isn't. It's right? true. It's true. I didn't know yeah. anniversary is sweet. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, okay, so with, stuff. Uh, with our minds, like everybody just wants to be outdoors right now. We can mm -hmm. see that the garden centers are really packed every weekend. It feels like everyone's out there. How can we save in that area? It is absolutely packed. I was just there last right? weekend. It was a zoo. Yeah. But there's actually research that shows that Canadians have ramped up their spending in the month of, uh, of this month in spring. Mm -hmm. And that is largely driven by wanting to spruce up their home. So that's renovations, that's home and houseware, furniture, and garden center. Because mm -hmm. Canadians spend billions of dollars at the garden center, on plants, at nurseries. And so there's a couple tips. Um, this one's from my mom, mm -hmm. because she is the most frugal person in Canada. <laughs> and I use frugal, not cheap. I love you, mom. And uh, she, she also loves to garden. So what she does is she gets these hanging planters for like, say, 20 to $25, really big ones. And she divides them into three separate planters. Okay. She takes one oh, and then smart. divides them and then just adds some filler plants. So something like a potato vine, something that's full, something mm -hmm. that's fast growing. And then the other thing she does is she makes sure she talks to the staff mm -hmm. about her needs because everyone's going to want something different. So she wants annuals because she wants something tall. She plants um, canna lilies every year. Tall, beautiful bloom, mm -hmm. very full at the bottom. I don't want anything to do with that because that means that every year I'm digging in the soil. That's right. I want perennials, mm -hmm. so I will wait till August to get them half price. And then they show up every year. I'm like, oh, hey, you again. You yeah. know, it's great. Smart. Uh, but this is a caveat. If you, again, if you wait till August to get anything from a garden center, mm -hmm. dirt cheap, nothing left. Nothing left. left. <laughs> you can also go to yeah. get used. You, I saw that you, you know about used, uh, not used, but like on the resale market, you can get like a tree. Yes, yes. Right? So I, I always say, don't forget to, don't discount the secondhand market for garden stuff, for plants, because uh, people are going to be looking at their landscaping. They're going to be thinking, you know what? Maybe I don't need this. Maybe I do need this. And so uh, my friend put an ad on, uh, on online that um, said, I will come to your lawn. I will come to your yard and I'll just dig out whatever you don't want. Oh, no and way. she got oh, this, yeah, I think I told you the story. She got yep. this really beautiful, mature blue spruce tree. This is like it's hundreds gorgeous. of dollars. Yeah. And she yeah. just got it yeah. for free. So great. It's in her yard. It's gorgeous. Is there anything that we shouldn't be buying? Mm. Like, what should we not buy? That's a great question. Um, if you can wait, Black Friday's coming. It's coming in a mm. few, few short months. And so if you can start your planning, um, electronics and toys will absolutely go on sale. And finally, I just want to share three magic words with everyone to help no matter what time of year mm -hmm. is, can this wait? Oh, can this man. wait 24 hours for you to think about it? Can this wait? If it should, Josie until, needs to hear this. Until until she's got cheaper. an online shopping problem. I do. Oh, not really? afraid to say. I do. Yep. It's my vice. I yeah. do. Can <laughs> this wait so that you can put money towards some of your other goals, your debt repayment, your, you know, your emergency fund? Just three words. Can this wait? So not you only live once. <laughs> 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 but can this way? Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Melissa, Free thank you four. so much. It's such great information. You're the absolute best. You're welcome. I'm going to run out and get that secondhand mattress. <laughs> as soon as the show is done.
Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.